There is an abundance of wisdom whenever it comes to a successful marriage. Listen and communicate. Have a lot of grace. Always be kind. Choose to forgive. Put your spouse's needs first and yours second. Keep the romance alive. Continue to date and pursue one another. Choose to love. Love, of course, is a choice. Choosing to love in the easy times as well as in the challenging ones. These characterize what love is and is not. Love is patient, love is kind. Love does not envy, love does not boast. Love is not proud, love is not rude. Love is not self-seeking, love is not easily angered. Love keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil. Love rejoices in the truth. Love always protects, love always trusts. Love always hopes, love always perseveres. Love never fails. It is constant, enduring, and faithful to the end. My hope for these two incredible people on their wedding day is that they ceaselessly and passionately pursue one another, that their lifetime together as a team is one of complete fulfillment and continual growth, abundant with those moments they wish would never end, and that they continue inspiring laughter and joy with each other in the same way they have for each one of us. And so without further ado, we are gathered here today to join Siri and Antonio in holy matrimony. This covenant is not to be entered into lightly, but thoughtfully and seriously, and with a deep realization of its obligations and responsibilities. Siri, do you take Antonio, whose hand you now hold, to be your wedded husband? Do you promise to love him, obey and serve him, cherish, honor, respect, and keep him, in sickness and in health, in poverty and in wealth, and forsaking all others, keeping loyal only to him so long as you both live? I do. Antonio, do you take Siri, whose hand you now hold, to be your wedded wife? Do you promise to love her, comfort her, lead her, cherish, honor, serve, sanctify, and keep her in sickness and in health, in poverty and in wealth, and forsaking all others, keeping loyal only to her so long as you both live. I do! Siri, you have really been the best big sister we could ask for. You are stubborn but determined and you used half an, hour, half an hour giving us an answer with a thousand detours to the simplest question. Uh, you are an expert at postponing things to the last minute and everything is urgent. The amount of fights we have had throughout the years and you would be angry for many days and suddenly you would come out of your room and it was like nothing had happened. But when you care, you care a lot. And we can always count on you when we need anything at all, and for that we are very grateful. Antonio, you are funny, caring, and so easy to get along with. We think you are the perfect match for Siri. It takes a special kind of person to put up with her, but I guess you are up for the challenge. She's your problem now, and remember, if it ever becomes too much, don't come to us. We are so happy to see that you have found each other and we are so excited to see what the future holds for you guys. Cheers for you.
Antonio, would you please place the ring on the fourth finger of Siri's left hand and repeat the following. As a pledge and in token. As a pledge and a token. Of the covenant between us made. Covenant between us made. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. Siri, would you please place the ring on the fourth finger of Antonio's left hand as a pledge and in token. As a pledge and in token. Of the covenant between us made. Of the covenant between us made. With this ring. With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. In pursuance of your solemn pledge thus given, by the authority in me, I do here now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.